Hey guys, welcome back to more Deliver Us Mars. So we had a very interesting beginning of the game. The prologue seemed to have happened before the events of the first game. And then I guess the first chapter of the game starts off after the events of the first game. Which is kind of interesting and confusing at the same time. Anyway, so we are still on Earth. We still haven't gone to Mars. And I'm not sure when that's gonna happen, but obviously it has to happen eventually. So let's get started. Oh. I'm back here. All right. Guess we'll directly go there because we've already seen all there is to see here. I did scan it last time. All right, let's go. We did this as well. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, to be honest. <laughs> I guess... There. Okay. Saving. Hey, that door. Try and see if we get lucky. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it didn't work. Well, worth a try. Didn't even acknowledge me. So rude, Mark. So rude. <laughs> oh, on the shoulders of giants. Rolf, yes. That's who we played as in the last game. Maria, I do not really remember, so I don't know. Claire is, I'm assuming, my sister. Good, sis. Yep. Hmm. They really need to change these. I like nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Thanks, I try. You trying anything, yeah, right. <laughs> I just, I meant that, like, Thanks. you <laughs> come on, Alex. Try. So, we were following Sarah in the first game, and we finally found her at the end. Are you headed to Maria's office? Okay, oh, why? Oh, I'm just going the same way. Don't like. embarrass yourself. Oh, wow. Hey, I was just looking at a few of the Mission Fortuna exhibits on my way over here. That's good. How long were you actually stationed on the moon? Uh, I was on the space station. Can't really go. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's why I never saw you on the surface, I guess. I saw you. Oh. Oh, really? When I did software upgrades for Rose's ASC. Oh, yeah, ACE. No, ASE. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, <laughs> I named it ACE because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym, so I just kept calling it ACE, <laughs> and Rosa would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name, I guess. <laughs> Who's Rosa? I don't know. Or maybe I forgot. Yours is named Alex, right? Oh, hello. Where are you headed to? Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question yet. Uh, question? About how long you were stationed on the moon. You want the years with the forced cry asleep or without? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting, Kat. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I, I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. He stabbed, right? I think Excuse Isaac me. stabbed Sarah. Your dad did not. Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but what your dad and the Lunar Council did, they, they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Oh, God. Are you something? No? <laughs> 
Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. I made it this far. You might as well just let no. me. No. <laughs> it's going to be on video. You no. Well. Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. <laughs> Totally did. <laughs> Run at work. I like being a rebel. Let's go. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Thanks. That is sweet, right? Oh, damn. <laughs> Okay. Find a way. How am I gonna protect and prosper? I don't know where to go, to be honest, so. <laughs> I'm just roaming around. I obviously can't go in here. They're talking, I can hear them talk. Mm -hmm. I see it. Freaking see it. I think I have to climb here. Flashlight, I don't think I need. I'm still like crouching. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hang on. God, I have to be really precise. What the hell? It's not happening. What? I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. I don't know what I'm... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, well. I don't know why it keeps saying flashlight. But like... What the hell? So we have this. And we have this. What happens? Okay. Don't know how that helps me. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. I think I see it. Do you think that's it? I don't think so. What? Can't be that. I want to open this. I don't know what to do here. I think maybe that's it, yeah. Can I jump on you, please? <laughs> no way. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Ah. And jump! I didn't make it. Do you think I'll be able to make it? I'm not sure. Oh. Maybe I need a run jump. Oh, I'll make it. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know how to press it. Okay, can I... Can you press the button for me? Uh, no? What the hell? Hmm. So, oh man, I'm scared. Okay, jump, 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 jump. Oh no! That's because that AC was in my way. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know if this is the right way, but I guess we... Okay. 
Okay. Can I? <gasps> Let's go. We need line of sight on that conversation, Ayla. That side, okay. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this okay? This is nostalgic. I remember these vents in the first game. <laughs> oh, hello. Absolutely certain. The DSC team triple checked it. Oh, shit. The signal was sent through a WSA communication device. So it must be them. Yes. We feel that we can safely assume that Project Outward sent this signal directly to us. Oh. Intentionally. I can't believe it. They're on Mars? What? And seemingly have been for the last 13 years. Closer than any of us could have imagined. You okay? Can't imagine this must be easy to hear with everything. I'm fine, I'm fine. I assume we can finally justify Mission Opera then? Yes. Mission Opera? Mission Since Opera? Since we pulled Sarah and Kathy from the moon, we've been formulating a contingency plan, should we discover Outward's location. During Mission Vestia, we found indications that the three ARC vessels Outward used to leave the moon weren't just for transportation. Our information leads us to believe these three ARCs actually form a trine, a completely self-reliant settlement. Oh! But why reach out? Why now? Is it a distress signal or an invitation? Doesn't matter. Mission Opera has only one objective. Bring the ARCs and their revolutionary technology back home. Interesting. So that's why we are going to Mars. Okay. We should analyze the distress signal. Maybe we can determine the encryption used. We're working on it as we speak. I can enable terminal access in the back office. See what you make of it. Ada, quick. Find a way inside that room. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going. Oh, what? Uh, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Ayla, stay right there. What you're about to hear cannot leave this room. Understood? Oh no, what's happening to the AC? What? The atmosphere continues to deteriorate at an alarming rate. The lunar MPT may be alleviating the planet's energy needs to a degree, but energy is the least of our concerns right now. Rising CO2 levels are killing off a myriad of species of flora and fauna every week. The truth of the matter is that our home is becoming just as uninhabitable as any other planet. We need those arcs. Now. Claire? I need you to lead this mission. Assemble a team and bring those arcs back. You have a few months to prep. We cannot afford further delay. I understand. I'd like to start by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. Vital. Both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 <laughs> she was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past ten years? <laughs> the fact that she aced nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. I know you want to keep her out of this, but she's the best MPT engineer we've got. We need her expertise. And look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. 
Kathy is the most talented individual the WSA is working for. Ooh, look at that. Both of you two. And me, of course. <laughs> uh, we're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she she has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors involved. <laughs> what the f hey, hey, Maria. <laughs> hey, Seriously? Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you strapping? <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. <laughs> and you need my MPT expertise. Please, Claire, with you by my side, I know I can do this. We can do this. Plus? There's only like, what, three other trained astronauts to choose from, so. <laughs> I think you should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 <laughs> She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. However, the final say is yours, of course. See, yes, bro, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Ryan's last argument was severely lacking, yeah. Ouch. I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? We are going to Mars. I mean, to be honest, we knew it was going to happen, right? For the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now. Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Of course. So Isaac is still alive, obviously, and he's specifically calling for Kathy. I don't know what that means. What's the significance of it? But what the hell? It's pretty crazy. Few months later. Man, my clothes are dirty. Look at that. Look at all the dust on my on my clothes. I don't know why the camera sometimes goes blurry for no reason. I'm assuming that's what they You're designed it. There, Ada. You need anything? Cup of coffee? Maybe. <laughs> You diva. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's where my dad stabbed you, I'm assuming. <clears throat> that was super nervous. fast. Oh no, this is clear. <laughs> that amuses you? No, no. Seeing you, you proud. Aww. <clears throat> hey, that scar on Sarah's stomach is, is that the one Dad gave her? Yeah. Why? Just curious. Knock knock. You ready? I guess. <laughs> yeah. Get in the transport. Okay, before that, is there anything here for me to look at? Take, I don't know. I mean, let's see anything. So I'm leaving my AC behind. That's dumb, no? I should take him. What the hell? GC, we're heading to the rocket now. Copy that. Transport is ready for you. How's everyone feeling? Good. Slept like a baby. Of course you did. <laughs> you didn't? Yeah. Sure. Sure. How about you two? Good. Yeah, fine. Good.
All right, all right. Let's go. Okay, maybe I'm going first because everyone's staring at me. Oh, I can just walk in. Well, can't interact with anything else, so I gotta sit here. <laughs> Why I had to get in first, but okay. Here we go. No turning back. No oh. turning back. Hey, you know what I still think about? What? How come we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Oh. Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. Kind of sucks, they to be honest. Right. Oh, they really don't seem to want us to go. Come on, see. Oh, wait. But considering the amount. Oh. Whoa. You okay? Yeah, just a bit startled. So they're throwing shit at us? Great. Yeah, I mean, it's I guess, so right? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. Oh. You saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space? You'd be angry too. Yeah, I mean, that's they understandable, understand. right? But when we bring the Arcs back, they will. Oh, they won't. I mean, they might, and I hope they do, but they're promising something that might not happen, even if we do bring back the Arcs. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. That's the way I choose to view it. Alexander Pope. The soul uneasy and confined from home dreams of a life to come. Look at these poets, man. <laughs> Poetry. <laughs> what can I say? I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this view. Oh, wow. Wow. Never ceases to amaze, right? Except for the popping of the trees. It's a shame we couldn't Beautiful. Build what? With all the shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. You could have mentioned this in all these months of prep that we're flying economy class. <laughs> no, I didn't want to worry you. Except for right before it taking off. <laughs> really fair to dispose it now? Sure, sure. If Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I believe Zephyr 3 will handle the mission just fine. Zephyr 3. Okay. Look at that man. So cool. Everyone seems very calm. Who's driving this thing? Is it like an autopilot thingy? Looks like it though. Hmm, okay. All right, let's go. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. You don't notice how high it really is until... Yeah. You're just going. Oh, there. Finally. <laughs> stairs so I can go further up but I don't think I should. Oh my god look at that. Look at that. Alright guys. No turning back. What am I supposed to do here now? Go up? Okay. It's like everyone's waiting for me and I'm just like chilling. 
Oh no, I remember this from the last time. This was not fun. Launch sequence initiated. Opera team, this is ground control. Proceed with final checks. Copy GC. Opera team comms check. Go. 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 Cat, systems check. Oxygen. Uh. Oh, there. Okay. Oxygen is going. Flight. Okay. Flight is go. Navigation. Sure. Navigation is go. Ground launch sequencer. Ground launch sequencer. Ground launch sequencer is go. Fuel. Fuel is go. Liquid oxygen. Okay. Liquid oxygen is go. Power. Power is go. Launch sequence functions. At least this is not as complicated as the last Launch game. Launch sequence functions are go. Propellant load check. Oh, shit. Where is Good it? Good to go. Okay. Brian, airtight seal and cockpit air composition check. Seal and air composition are go. Sarah, start fuel cell thermal conditioning. So Condition I have to wait for my turn. <laughs> Cat, strong back retract. Is it this? No, is it? I don't know what. I guess this... Oh my god, what is all this? Oh my god. Okay, did something. Strong back successfully retracted. Sarah, bent off lines. Lines are vented. We are go. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Sequencer is a go. Cat, track orbiter access. What the hell am I supposed to do? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> orbiter access arm is retracted. Copy. Start auxiliary power unit. Is that me? Is it me? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, I think this. Okay. Is that not it? I don't understand anything. What? Oh, okay. Oh my god, this is like so long I took just to figure out how this works. Oh, can I get this, please? Okay. Auxiliary power units are go. Copy. Retract gases. What is that? I think this? What am I supposed to do? Wait, what, what, what? What am I supposed to do? Hold on. Does it say? Mm, it does not. I'm doing zero. I don't know if it works. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the thing is, no one tells you what to do, so I don't know what you're doing. Team, down. Go. Go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Go. Go. Cap. Orbiter transfer from ground to internal power. I don't know what. Oh, I'm sorry. Complete. We're on internal power. Sarah, activate launch pad down to pressure system. The pressure system online. Activating solid fuel thrusters hydrogen burn-off system. Burn-off system are a go. Cat, initiate solid fuel thrusters start. I'm assuming it's this. Oh my god. Solid fuel thrusters are a go. Copy. Thrusters up. We are going to launch. Here we go. 
Yo be go. Oh my god. Just chilling. It's like all my internal organs are just jumping around now. <laughs> Look at all the clouds, man. That is pretty. Sounds like things are breaking. <laughs> Max Q, coming up. Max Q. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, it has to be, I think, here. Yeah. Go. Copy. Initiate second stage ignition. Oh, shit. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm getting used to this. Go. Look at all the stars. Is that it? Is that Mars? Oh no, that's Earth. <laughs> That's Earth, right? Oh, what the hell? I guess this one. And it's away. Man, this is so pretty. I mean, we're just chilling here. I don't know what, what to do. Oh, there we go. Want to go to space? Here we go, Opera Team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey? <laughs> like by the day. <laughs> oh, good. Want to see something cool? Course. Maybe I escape mods. You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so. Oh wow, old school. Huh? 
you look excited. You never look excited. <laughs> Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look. Oh, wow. That is freaking cool. That is so beautiful, man. Look at that. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kat? Yeah, absolutely. Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. You right there? Yeah, give me a minute to gawk at this for a minute while. <laughs> oh! What? Okay, now be honest. Did Claire ever take you this far from the house? No. Hmm. Well, then this hopefully will be a nice surprise. So we are literally going back and forth in time. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to stop it here for today and we'll continue diving with our dad in the next video. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.